In this demonstration, I will show you how you can import customer lists that are in Excel or text files into QuickBooks Desktop using Z-axis. You may be already aware that QuickBooks Desktop does have a customer list import feature, and you can do that three different ways. The first way is using an IIF file. The second is using an Excel template, which you download from QuickBooks and then use to populate your data into. And the third is a multiple list add entry feature. But each of these methods has its limitations. So that's why I'm gonna show you there's a simpler and smarter way by using Z-axis that you can get your customer lists quickly and easily into your QuickBooks desktop. The reason why Z-axis is simpler and smarter is one, because you don't need to be in single user mode, which you do need to be if you're importing an IIF customer list file into QuickBooks. The second is it doesn't need to have a copy of Excel installed on the same PC, which you do have to have if you're using the Excel template upload or the multiple add entry list feature. Thirdly, there's a lot of flexibility around the way Axis can take the columns in your import file, map them to the corresponding QuickBooks fields, and then save those maps. So you can then go on and share those with colleagues who may be uploading lists as well. The fourth reason is Axis has a lot of powerful features which allow you to translate values. It allows you to join two fields together into one before importing. For example, like a customer job, um, where you need to attach the customer to the job. It also has the ability to shorten fields. So if any of your fields exceed the maximum that QuickBooks allows to import, then Axis can automatically shorten that and trim that before it goes into QuickBooks. The fifth reason, Axis supports a full set of fields on a customer record. So it also includes some of the tax fields um, that you might be using when importing customer lists. Sixth reason, it imports multiple ship to addresses, which just isn't possible within QuickBooks Desktop. And finally, Axis can import custom fields onto the customer record. So you can have a lot of different customer fields on your custom record, and we can populate that data in batch into QuickBooks Desktop. So, Let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you how Z-Axis imports customer lists. So I've got QuickBooks desktop open with my company file open. Next, I'm gonna to switch to Z-Axis. I'll select desktop of the connection and the connect button. So first off, Z-Axis doesn't need to be in single user mode to import customer list. So we'll go into the import tab and we'll browse to the file that we wanna import in. Now those files can be of Excel, can be text, or can be IIF file formats if you want to import those. So I've got an Excel file which I'm going to import. So once the file is open, you'll see the contents of that file displayed in this grid here. Now you can edit the information directly in here. You can do searches and you can filter or you can um, reorder if you need to. So there's lots of functionality within this grid which allows you to manipulate the data before you need to import it. So first off we're going to add a new mapping. Now mappings can be saved so if you're doing a lot of imports of customer lists then once the mapping is saved you can reuse it on subsequent imports. First time we'll go through and map the QuickBooks fields to the columns in the import file. So it's just a case of matching those up. If you need any help with any of these fields and what QuickBooks is expecting, then this blue link here will open a web page on our website, which goes through the stages that you need to import and will show you where the fields appear in QuickBooks, as well as a detailed description of what is expected when you import. Another thing to notice with Z-Axis um, is it supports a very comprehensive range of fields, more so than what's supported directly within QuickBooks. And the advantage is you don't need to have a formal 
structured template to import. So these fields can be in any order, and that's where the mapping process can um, accurately bring information into QuickBooks in the way you want it to. It also supports adding multiple ship to addresses, and there's a link above that will show you a demonstration of that. It also supports importing um, credit card information for the customer, as well as job details and so on. We can also import custom field lists on the customer record as well. There's a link to that demonstration appearing above. Access also has the ability to add constant values. So if you just want to put a value in for all fields, that can be done here. And that is again, saved along with the map, as well as it has the ability to add functions. So if we want a function to either search and replace, so search on one term and replace with another, we can join two fields together. And it also can left and right trim the function. So if fields are too long and you need to trim from the right hand side of the field, or alternatively trim from the left hand side of the field, Axis has a function that can do that. And those functions are then saved along with the map and can be reapplied the next time the import is processed. So once we have got the map ready, we can give it a name and click save. So what you'll notice now is within this field, you can view all the data as it's going to be imported and you can edit it or manage it as you need to. You can filter those and you can select which ones you want to import and which ones you don't want to. You've got the ability to skip it if it already exists or um, you can overwrite it so we can update fields or customer records as we need to. So once we've got those settings selected, so we click on the import button, Access will validate the data, make sure it's in the correct format and begin the process of importing those directly into your QuickBooks company file. So if there are any errors, the status will show as an error and there'll be a description or a message that will describe the issue that occurred when importing. And there is a button down here, you can click the export button and it will make a report of all the list or transaction types that failed um, along with the error message so you can re-attempt to import those later. So when the import is complete, um, we can see how many records have been added um, and how many errors that occurred. If we need then to see the detail of what's been imported, we can click on this view link here and it will open the customer record in QuickBooks that was just imported and we can see the detail there. So with that demonstration, I hopefully I've shown you how Z-axis can be a more powerful and flexible way of importing large numbers of customer records into QuickBooks Desktop.